The man who took the helm of this adventure is Coach Fernando Clavijo. Born in Uruguay, Clavijo played for the United States in the 1994 World Cup. Being in soccer for 27 years, I haven't seen anything like this before. Um, and I have gone through some bad times myself. Charmed by the magical passion for the game in Haiti, he made his decision to take the job. Dad, you have to give credit to them. Um, I wish I can take credit for that, but I think that determination and motivation that they have is greater than anything else was going on in their lives. Um, they go through a lot of obstacles every day. I mean, even here today, uh, we go through obstacles to try to, to make it to the next day. But they somehow find the motivation and the right environment to come and train and train well and, and don't complain about it. Charmed by the magical passion for the game in Haiti, he made his decision to take the job. Well, expectation for me when I arrived in Haiti was really blank. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, I had a lot of good things from, from Haitians and I had a lot of bad things from, uh, from other people who probably had never been in Haiti. But when I would just walk into the airport, the first thing you see is people everywhere and really very disorganized people going in different directions. The common question was, are we going to qualify for 2006? That, that was the only concern that they have. They didn't care how or when, uh, what do we need to do about it? But everybody was concerned about just getting to the World Cup. But everybody have a smile. Everybody has something good to say about soccer. And that's what it called my attention. The people were great. Due to the upheaval in early 2004, the team was left with few resources and no infrastructure back home. So Clavijo proposed they stay focused on their training in Florida and away from their politically unstable homeland. For Clavijo, it has meant constant travel and financial sacrifice. I need to go and I need to pay for my ticket to be able to see Jamaica and to be able to see this player. I cannot wait. I'm sure he's aware of the sacrifices and if he wants to go ahead, me and the kids will support him. So I know that it's a good thing for his, um, for his career and it's a good and honorable thing that he's doing to right. help uh, the people of Haiti. So they have a dream and, and, and he's the, the one that is carrying the torch. Si usted va arriba, para ver si podemos lograr este, este sueño ¿no? que había pasado en 74, así que creo que estamos bien, tenemos todo, tenemos todas las condiciones para, para poder lograr.